Jay Grazio with Shooting Illustrated, here with another entry in our iCarry series, bringing you firearms and gear devoted to home and personal defense. Today we have a Smith & Wesson Model 638 38 Special Revolver in a Kramer leather holster. We also have a Crimson Trace laser grip, a Filster pocket emergency wallet, and a CRKT knife. Let's take a closer look at this gear. We're carrying the Smith & Wesson Model 638 today, which is a shrouded hammer small frame revolver. Since we're choosing pocket carry, either this version or the entirely enclosed hammer version, the Model 642, are excellent choices. The exposed hammer version, in keeping with the stainless finish, would be the Model 637, which is more at home on the belt or in an ankle holster. This particular model is the airweight version with aluminum construction that keeps weight to a light 15 ounces. Choosing a 5 shot J frame over a 7 shot 380 ACP or a 6 shot 9mm semi auto really boils down to a personal decision. Some don't feel comfortable with the expansion and stopping power of the 380 ACP, while others might be concerned about the possibility of pocket lint and other detritus finding their way into the action and preventing proper operation. Of course, ammunition selection, training, and proper maintenance will alleviate these concerns, but the rock-solid operation of a revolver is comforting to some. What it boils down to, mainly, is familiarity. If you're a revolver fan, you're going to be comfortable carrying a smaller version for defense. Five rounds of 38 Special plus P shouldn't make anyone feel like they're not adequately armed. However, with a specialized tool like the J-Frame, dedicated training is absolutely a must. Seek out a qualified trainer dedicated to the small revolver to maximize its effectiveness. We've opted to carry the Model 638 in a Kramer leather pocket gun holster. Now sure, I know what you're thinking. That's a great looking holster. It's a shame to have to hide it in your pocket. Yes, the Kramer leather pocket gun holster is well made with precision molded horse hide. It's also thoughtfully constructed to keep the gun positioned correctly in the pocket and has a lip designed to catch the inside of the pocket so the holster remains inside during the draw. Additionally, a plastic laminate panel on the outward side breaks up the outline in the pocket to prevent printing. With a five shot revolver, every pull of the trigger needs to result in a decisive hit. One way to increase your odds of this is to equip your firearm with a Crimson Trace laser grip, which instinctively turns on a red or green laser dot when you assume a firing grip. In this case, we've outfitted our Model 638 with a red laser grip to make aiming the J-frame easier. This particular grip installs easily as an exchange, requiring one screw to be removed so that the Crimson Trace unit can replace the standard stocks. A note on using laser sights, however. While laser aiming devices are designed, ideally, so that wherever the dot appears is where the bullet strikes, it's still imperative to press the trigger firmly and stay on target through the shot process. Jerk the trigger and the shot and the laser dot will go low. One of the advantages of equipping a firearm with a laser grip is seeing how your shot breaks in dry fire practice. If you're flinching or otherwise moving the muzzle before the shot goes off, the laser tells all. Having an individual first aid kit, IFAC, is always a great idea. And while it's pretty easy to pull together a decent IFAC to attach to your range bag or bug out bag, having a small portable kit you can have with you all day long is harder. Fortunately, Filster has done it for you and put together the PEW, Pocket Emergency Wallet. Using a Snake Eater Tactical Elastic Sleeve, the PEW contains a pair of nitrile gloves, compressed gauze, a compression bandage, and a sheet of wound cloth gauze. As always, we recommend professional first aid training to best use this equipment, but having it on your person at all times means that even if you're not fully trained, someone with the right training won't need to waste valuable moments searching for life-saving gear. With a 2.78 inch plain edge Tanto blade and G10 handle, the Gung Ho by Columbia River Knife and Tool is an excellent EDC choice. Add in the outburst assisted opening via thumb stud, frame lock, and reversible pocket clip for tip up or tip down carry, and you've got a purpose built blade for all your day to day tasks. For more information about this gear and other everyday carry combinations, visit shootingillustrated.com. And as always, stay tuned for more gear on iCarry.